In the last video, we created our canvas, and now we're going to go ahead and draw something on it. And to do that, we need to use JavaScript. So you will remember in the first video, I explained that you at least have to have a basic understanding of JavaScript. That is, what does a method do? That kind of thing. So again, we're going to use JavaScript in this video to draw our very first line on the canvas that we created in our last video. Now, you will also notice that I got rid of the article and, and all of that extra fluff. We just want to deal with the canvas element. So I basically got rid of everything else that was inside our main element. So if we're going to use JavaScript, we of course need to create an ID in our JavaScript code. So we want to get a hold of our entire canvas. And you will remember in order to do that, we need to create an ID. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're simply going to call that draw. That will be the ID that we use. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to place our JavaScript code down here. You'll remember in the JavaScript series, I explained that you want to always have that near the closing body element tag because you want that to load last. Now, I've got this already typed out. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste that into here right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And there is our JavaScript code. And let's actually align this up a little bit. Okay, good. Now what I'll do is I'll explain all of this. Now, first we need to create a variable to go ahead and grab our ID up here. It will basically hold our canvas, this variable called C-A-N-V for canvas. So that's what this variable is going to do is basically just going to hold our canvas and we're grabbing it with the ID of draw. But that's not it. Next, we need to create another variable that will use the get context method. So what we're doing here is we created our first variable called canv. And then we're creating another variable called context. And basically what we're doing there is call our canv object. And then we're going to call the get context method. So basically, once you have the canvas object, which we got right here, you need a second step or create a second variable that will invoke the canvas's get context method. And that basically will allow us to create a two-dimensional drawing. And the argument that we specify is 2D. That's what you'll always specify is just 2D. So you can think of the context as almost as your tool that you use to draw on your canvas. Think of it like that. So now that we have everything wrapped up in our nice cont object, then we need to call three methods. And they are always these same three methods. The move to method, the line to method, and the stroke method. Now basically the way this works is the starting point is this move to method. And the end point is this line to method. And then we need to call this third method, the stroke method. And this is actually the method that will actually draw the line. So these three always need to be called. Now what these are are coordinates. These are coordinates. And basically what this means is move from the left and move from the top. So for instance, if I put 0, 0 in here, and let's just assume this was our browser for a minute, it would start right up in this corner, right up here. If I put 10, which is in pixels, it would be 10 pixels over here. So first, let's go ahead and we'll specify 10 and 10. So what basically what this means is we're going to come in 10 pixels from the left and 10 pixels from the top. The first again is from the left and the second is from the top. That's the way it works. And it works the same down here. The only difference here in this case, we're going to go 400 pixels from the left and we're going to come 40 pixels from the top. That's the way it's going to work. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and open up our web page in Chrome and let's see what we get. And there is our line and take a look. 10 pixels again from the left, 10 pixels from the top. And for our endpoint, 400 pixels from the left and 40 from the top. Now, let's go ahead and close this out and let's tweak this a little bit. Let's actually set this to 0 and 0. And I want you to see what happens here. Let's go ahead and launch this in Chrome again and take a look at that. And now it starts from the very left corner of the canvas. So you can see how these coordinates work. Go ahead and play around with them, put in some different coordinates, and we'll continue on in the next lecture with drawing lines.